My name is Raphael Schwarz and I'm working for the auction house Dorotheum as an auctioneer. I do the big international auctions which are every couple of months. Most of them are fine art auctions from old master to contemporary art. I'm one of the auctioneers here, so I'm a salesperson. Just it's a different type, a different kind of selling but it's still selling. And the big difference to regular salesperson is that as a client, you have only one opportunity, one moment, one minute where you can buy this artwork. It's not a, I have to show it to my wife and we'll come back and let me think about it again and again. It's one auction, one day, one minute, and that's it. It was an old master painting, um, Franz Franken II, a Dutch painter. The starting price was something like 200,000 euro and we sold it for 7 million. This was great. I was standing there at the stage and I wasn't sure if I should laugh or if I should, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it was a 15 minutes just for one painting. Can you imagine that? Normally you sell. 100 paintings in an hour if you do a quick auction. And it was just 15 minutes for one painting. But it was a masterpiece. And it went very slow from the 200,000 up to a million. Then quite quick to the 2 million and then it went very, very slow but constantly up to the 7 point something million. It was the highest price ever paid for an artwork in Austria. The 200,000 was the actual art market price for Franz Franken at that time. Nobody ever paid more for Franz Franken II. So we knew that this is a masterpiece. We, we had this um, consigning day, so we call it specialist day, consigning day in Berlin. And a very old man, 90 plus, came to us with a very bad photography of his living room. Just in the very back of this very bad photography you saw the painting said I want to sell this yeah and I especially said well <laughs> I need to see an original because I hardly can recognize what it is but he saw the painting said it, it looks good yeah so he went to this old gentleman's home and there he saw the artwork and he our specialist was from the very first moment very impressed and it was signed it was a perfect condition it was never a chimney in this room there was nobody smoking in this room um, it was a perfect condition and then they found out because it was signed I guess that it was Franz Frank II and then they consulted Franz Franken specialists worldwide and and it was always mentioned in literature that there is a masterpiece of Franz Franken but there was no photo so yeah we found this masterpiece and then the first price we uh, thought about was like, I think 50,000, 60,000. And then our specialist said, no, no, we have to start with a higher price. And then he called this, old, this gentleman and said, okay, we're probably planning to do a um, starting price in our catalog for 200,000. And the gentleman said, oh my God, if I would ever see a cent out of this artwork, it would be great. So after the auction, it was quite interesting how to contact a 90 plus old gentleman and giving him the information that he's a millionaire now without yeah, shocking him. But he was quite cool. The moment was the million because I met a couple of hours before the auction the old master specialist from our house, um, uh, Dr. Alexander Strasoldo, who is a specialist here at Dorotheum, in, the, in our coffee house on the second floor here in this building. I don't know why, because I never do it. I said, so how much do you expect? Yeah? And he said, oh, well, and he's always very calm. He said, well, we can reach the million. I said, wow, with 200,000 euro starting price, we can reach the million? He said, yes, we can reach the million. So at the moment when we jumped over the million and the tempo was still the tempo. People were still bidding and bidding. Um, yeah, this was the moment when I thought, okay, that's, that could be a very good night. Maybe we'll party after.
up to the million there were a couple of bidders and I'm quite sure there were um, very confident people also in the room who, who knew that this is a very good piece and they said okay until 500,000 although I don't have the money I could raise my hand and everybody will see that I'm bidding. And from three millions on we had two people fighting. You have always these moments when when you see the faces and when, when you see a couple sitting next, next to each other and, and holding their hands and bidding and bidding and you see him or her or him or him or her or her grabbing their hands and, and, and then when they got the artwork they kiss yeah? and they're so excited and they're so happy to, 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 that, they, uh, that they just bought for enormous price an artwork. Yeah? I would divide my job in three time periods. The first is the months before the auction, knocking on the potential buyer's door and to try to get them into these auctions, to get them closer to the artworks and, and at the end of the day to get them to be on the phone, to be online, to be in the auction room. Time-wise, the second part is the auction itself, where I'm the auctioneer. And the third part is um, the, all the after auction uh, to do's. Who was participating in the auction? Who was an underbidder who didn't buy, but he was the underbidder who was ready to buy this artwork for a certain amount, but somebody else bought it? Who are these people? Do they get future catalogs? In what art are they interested in? Etc. Etc. It's all the show around the selling and all the getting the feeling what is the right moment to, to be quick, what is the right moment to speak slow, what is the right moment to face the client and to look in his eyes and to maybe ask him if he is willing to, to place another bit. Finding the right, the correct moment. It's a very personal moment, yeah, and you have to decide very quick whether to approach again to the underbidder and ask him if he wants to place another bid or not, yeah, because you, on the other side you don't want to make him feel, making, you, you don't want, because he's not sitting alone in the room, he's sitting in the room with another hundred clients, yeah, and you don't want to embarrass him, yeah, that he has to say again no for any reason. Yes, yeah, so um, finding the correct moment and um, doing the right thing and you have only one, two seconds to decide, so um, it's not easy. But you learn it on the job. The first 10, 15, 20, or 30 auctions, I didn't do it at all, approaching again to an underbidder. But you get more confident, and of course, you, you know the clients better and better. But not everybody knows is that Doroteum is the oldest auction house in the world. It was founded in 1707 and it was a very um, caritative reason why Joseph I founded the Doroteum because he wanted to help out the people of Austria because it was a very bad economic situation and people could bring their objects like it was a palm house. Yeah? And they got money right away and they could bring the money back a couple of weeks and could get their item back. But they didn't come back, of course, because they needed money. It became more and more the auction house. We're um, in the Western world, so without China, number five today. So we're one of the big players. We're very strong in contemporary art and also still in old masters. We are a very classical auction house and we have a very wide range of items like you can buy here glass and porcelain and stamps and old timers and art and antiques and statues and paintings. We have, I think, 50 different departments. So a lot of auctions, 600 auctions a year, and from a very wide price range, which makes our clients very diverse, which is very good because you can come to the hotel and you can buy something for a couple of hundred euros and a couple of hundred thousand euros and you want to pay a couple of million euros, you can also buy the hotel. This makes us very special very big and very international. We opened representations in Rome and in Milan and in Düsseldorf and in Munich and in London and in Brussels. And so we are actually very spread out in Europe. 
where people can come, where people can consign their artworks. The auctions are always in Austria. But we also ship the artworks before an auction, for example, to Rome or to London, and we invite people for a cocktail or for a dinner or a lunch or whatever to this place. And they're, they're very beautiful places in all these cities and to see their original artworks. And then they come back to Vienna and then there is the auction. The very interesting thing in an auction house, I always say it's a short time museum. You can come every single day to the auction house and you see something different on display. We want to present the original item, we want to give the people the opportunity to see the original item. So we have huge gallery rooms where we bring the objects a couple of days before the auctions in. We place them very nicely. It's really curated sometimes. You see rooms. The curator, he creates rooms where you have a carpet for sale to the same auctions, desk also for the same auction, a painting, lamps, and then you're suddenly in a room and you have the feeling, oh, that's a really good idea to combine this carpet with this painting. Yeah?